Today I'll tell about my experience uh, using different battery types in my RC cars. Sometimes we may get confused which battery fits better for our RC car. Uh, let me start with uh, an example of my RC car that uses an electrical motor uh, with 7.4 volts. It was shipped with this battery. Uh, you should be careful when you're buying cars online. Sometimes producers may tell you that they provide LiPo batteries and in my case it, it was that way but when the car came I saw this battery and I thought it says 14500 milli uh, 14500 500 milliamperes so this battery is not a LiPo battery it's a regular lithium ion 14500 battery and it has only 500 milliamperes which runs the car only for 15 minutes of course that's not enough so you need to invest more if you want to enjoy your car for a longer time then i thought what battery would fit bad better for me when i try to do my research on lipo batteries uh, in case uh, in my case this this one um, i read that they are not very stable and they may be dangerous dangerous to keep at home so i opt out for a different type of a battery i tried to get this battery first and i thought well i need a high capacity uh, battery that would give me also 7.4 volts this battery is 3.7 volts and i thought i would i would buy a few ones combine two of them and i'll get an output of 7.4 volts and that would be okay for my uh, rc car that this battery is uh, uh, of a higher capacity and I thought that would run my RC car for a lot of time but my surprise was that when I turned on the car with these batteries inside the batteries got very hot and the contacts uh, got very hot and the metal and the plastic casing that I used for these batteries just got melted so the car stopped working because the contacts melted down and there was no current going to the electrical motor anymore and uh, what i found out later is that normally uh, lithium ion batteries are not good for high current applications when while well when i was first buying this battery i knew about that and i actually trusted the manufacturer's description of the battery i bought a high current battery but it turned out not to be very correct so in general my conclusion about this battery is that they are not good for uh, bigger electrical motors which need to draw high current and uh, uh, su be supplied with 7.4 volts uh, these batteries are good for smaller rc cars with uh, three to six maybe volts electrical motors and they can be actually really handy because they are of a bigger size these batteries are actually uh, the same as AA batteries which uh, are supplied with small RC cars but this battery is bigger so instead of uh, two AA batteries or three AA batteries you can use one uh, 18650 battery a lithium ion battery so this battery is big one and uh, it's uh, called 18650 a lithium ion battery and this battery you can see is also a lithium ion battery and it's uh, coded as 14500 so these batteries are the same they have different sizes and that's why they have different numbers and I switched then after experimenting with these batteries to a lipo battery which is 2500 milliamperes in comparison to this one which was 500 milliamperes but this battery uh, allowed me to run my RC car for an hour enjoy it for an hour and as you can see these LiPo batteries have current ratings this one 25C means one of the highest uh, current ratings current ratings and when you see, compare how the RC car runs with a LiPo battery versus a uh, lithium ion battery you can see a huge difference the RC car with LiPo battery just flies and it's really fun to play with the only drawback of for this battery is that you need to be careful with this uh, batteries when you maintain them you can't discharge them fully uh, you can't keep them charged fully without uh, 
at home i mean it's advised not to keep them fully charged with no use it's advised to discharge them a little bit after you fully charge them so it means that once once you decide to play with the car you charge them you go play with your car uh, if you charge them and you don't play with the car it becomes a bit dangerous to keep them at home because they can be flammable uh, so what is advised is to buy also inflammable containers for this battery 